What's good, Crown family? Hope you're having a good day today. If not, I hope that video bring a little light to your day. Make sure you smash the subscribe, hit that like button, and also hit that bell to become a part of the notification squad. Also, after this video, be sure to check out my newest song, 2020. I'm going to leave a link in the pin coming for you today. We fit to check out this uh, breakdown, the Easter egg in Joji's run song so listen i've already checked out the song now we're finna check out this breakdown of the run video let's go ahead and get straight to it I ain't gonna hold you what could joji has fans back in their fields as he croons about unrequited love on run his first track of the year bro that song's so hard bro I literally had this song on all day, bro. Like, that ass running back to back to back to back to back. Run is produced by Justin Parker, also responsible for hits like Rihanna's Stay and Lana Del Rey's Video Games. The lyrics find wow. Joji emotionally wrecked over a person now in a relationship with someone that's not him. See, I knew I was right. If you go back and watch my reaction to this song, I said something similar to this. I didn't say exactly this, but something similar to this, man. I knew it had to be relationship problems, and I knew he had to be heartbroken. You can feel it in his voice, man. Hey, let's go. Let's run this one. I be knowing. Love this song, man. Love on the it. second verse, Joji reflects on his foolish heart and failed efforts at love. Your love was a mystery. Yeah, my love is a fool. And I travel the country just to get there. Bro, this is like that baby making music. I know it's a sad song, but this is like when the records you play and you just start making love. Not, let me not, let me not. You gotta keep it free. And the song closes with an epic guitar solo. That guitar solo is sick, bro. This isn't the first time Joji has used running as a theme in his songs. It's been an element of his writing since early works like Chloe Burbank up until his last album, 2018's Ballads One. That's what I need to do. I need to go back and check out some of his older music because if it sounds like this, then hey, this might be one of my new favorite artists. That's what all I'm trying to say. You feel me? There was also the running gag in his comedy as his former YouTube personas, Filthy Frank and Pink Guy. Run's music video- Whoa, 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 whoa. See, I seen somebody mention in the comments that he was a YouTuber. So he was an actual YouTuber? That is crazy. What's his channel? What, what can I find his other videos? Are, are they on his channel? I, I gotta go look, man. That's crazy. Directed by I Sultan Seatoff opens with Joji waking up in the back of a limousine. He tries to run out and brushes with mobs of partiers as the limo shows no end in sight. Keen eyes are finding Easter eggs in a run that may link back to Joji's space inspired video for Sanctuary. After Joji escapes the limo, he's seen running on an endless plane that looks like the remnants of the ritual dance circle from the 2019 video. In the outro, Joji wakes up on what appears to be the spaceship from Sanctuary. Around his waist is the same spacesuit, and on one of the walls hangs a picture of the ship's crew. The possible connections between Run and Sanctuary have Joji fans excited for his next album and curious about the concept behind it. In 2019, Joji's 88 Rising label head Sean Miyashiro spoke to Genius News Oh, he signed the 88 Rising? Oh, man, that's dope. Uh, Rich Brian on there also. That's dope, bro. They got a nice little roster. It's about what to expect. Obviously a, a break. Well, not a little roster, big roster. Good moment for him, but musically, sonically, he wants to completely blow that out of the water. According to Sean, Joji's also been cooking up with producer Kenny Beats. I know he's with Kenny, Kenny. Beats a lot. The K, yeah, he's there all the time because it's like right by his house, so they're working. He's just like 
in incredibly focused on making a very timeless album. The release of Run marks the start of what should be a busy year for Joji, who will be performing at Coachella along with the rest of the 88 Rising crew. Upon it Oh snap, are you gonna be performing at Coachella? What am I doing? Big things in the world, bro. Listen, I'm new, but I'm ready. Hey, let's get release it. Run shot up to the top of the Genius Top Songs chart. If you want to learn more about the song, check out the song page on Genius.com. I'm Russell Labad with Genius News, bringing you the meaning and the knowledge behind the music. Hey man, like I said, I told y'all, man, I had a uh, pretty on the spot, you know, reference of what he was talking about on that song. And I, I think I did pretty well not to toot my own horn. Now let me stop, man. But I don't know, man. I, I really enjoy that song so much that that got me wanting to check out more. Like I said, y'all leave in the comments what songs I need to be checking out. I'm going to try to do them as soon as possible, man. But, hey, man, Joji is fire, bro. And the fact that he signed to the same label that Rich is, hey, that's fire, man. Because I, I got some Rich reaction videos on my channel. I got a lot of them, you know. But, hey, let's get it, bro. I appreciate y'all for watching. We out. Salute, Crown Family. Yo, yo, yo. Oh, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Before you leave up out of here, it should be a video on my face right now. That's my newest song. It's called 2020. I just got to click the video on my face. It'll take you right to the song. Now, if you enjoy that song, make sure you smash the subscribe to my music channel, which is a separate channel from this. I surely appreciate that. And we out. So, little crown family. Yo!